welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's YouTube video is obviously a tutorial Tuesday but we're switching up a little bit different. I had a comment on one of my videos and basically saying that they wanted a soft glam type of makeup look and could I do it? And I thought this is perfect time for Christmas. So the time that this tutorial Tuesday is going up is the Tuesday before Christmas. Tuesday is this Saturday which means that this is basically perfect timing for this look. They did actually ask for like a beautiful nude lip but I like I, I love a nude lip but I feel like Christmas just needs a red one so I'll do a nude lip and a red lip just to kind of give you the best of both worlds so if you want to see a red lip with the look and a nude lip I'll show you that but yeah let's get into two, today's tutorial Tuesday and hopefully you guys enjoy so obviously this isn't one of those like stupidly colourful ones but we can get into this so first you want to start off with a kind of big fluffy brush really the shade that i have on my eyelids is actually cx 4.5 not 3 because i wanted a shade that was more close to uh, my skin tone when i use 3 it's paler which means vibrant shadows will show up more but when you're going for neutrals i go for a darker base it blends effortlessly into your foundation and stuff so yeah let's get into this so the first thing i want to do is use a bronzer any bronzer really um, and I want to use my XS Revolution demo bronzer and I'm gonna load it onto my brush and I'm gonna use this as like a transition color to really blend it into like my skin so adding this ever so slowly to really blend I find that if you can't find a perfect transition color I find that some transitions are just too dark for what I want and uh, you can start off with this so just grabbing any bronzer bronzer that you love and bronzer that you're gonna use for your face bringing it up and bringing it out. This is what I call a soft glam. Don't know if anyone else would call it a soft glam, but making sure that you kind of go up to that brow bone because you don't want like a really pale under brow. Really make sure that product is all there. And then what you're gonna do with your bronzer, you're gonna slightly tuck the bronzer up here. So when you go to do your nose contour, you can have a really snatch nose. So that's the shape I'm going for. This shade is like a beautiful what I want. So this is in the shade demo, by the way. So if you have this bronzer, you should, because this is the only other bronzer I've hit ban on. It's so good. It's like 10 pounds, eight pounds. But like, look at that. The color that I'm gonna go into is the paler like transition shade here. I'm gonna use this to slightly buff out the bronzer just a little bit i don't want too much and like to go right into that brow you want to kind of make everything look lifted sculpted beautiful next what you want to do because i'm going to be doing like a liner type thing and then smudging it out um i don't want to go any darker on my crease um if i did i can always go in with like other shades this is the cash beauty uh modern legacy burnished bronze palette by the way a uh, beautiful neutral palette, but I'm going to be using like the darker shades in a minute. So what I want to do is go in and using shimmers. So first thing, obviously you can see I've covered up pretty much a lot of the concealer. So going back in with your concealer, on the back of your hand, literally just get tiny dots. And do you know when I say your finger is your best tool? This is what I will do. I will dab my finger into the concealer and I'll just make like a small half cut crease buffed out type of thing and just pat into my eye until I am happy with the way it looks. Find that when you use a brush, you can just load on so much product. Sometimes it can be just too much. But we want the sticky base and the glitters that I'm about to use, not glitter, but shimmers that I'm about to use. Shall we actually use a pigment today? You guys are asking for soft glam and I'm sat here going, should we use a pigment? Honestly, I can't. But yeah, that's what you're gonna basically aim for. Me and soft glam, just like, I rarely do them. And like, they're scary to me because it's so easy to go from soft glam to like full glam. What I like. So next. So I'm going to use this palette here. So this is the Beauty Bay Golden Age palette. Love this palette. I'm going to use this shade here, which is called Gleam. And look at that. It's like a perfect goldy color. And I'm going to pop that in the middle, right in the middle where that concealer is. And I'm going to pat with my finger. Your finger is the best thing. Okay. Always start off with a little and you can always add more. You put too much, can't always take it away. So now use my finger to kind of buff out the edges so it's not sharp. Then we can go in with a brighter shade. So I find that if you leave the first like third, this is where you can add like some real brightness. Instead of just putting highlighter in your inner corner, I like to bring it just up here so it really starts off the blend and the flow. And there's a shade here called Millionaire. Look at that, that makes me feel like a million dollars. So pretty. I'm gonna use this little brush. I would use my finger, but I don't wanna apply too much. I'm gonna put it here and then start to like buff it out. Beauty Bay eyeshadows, literally my favorite, okay? Also, don't forget when you're doing Beauty Bay orders, you can still use my link down below and it really helps me earn money to 
do these little videos like look at that and what i like to do get your finger in this little socket here and blend up to that point not in your crease but just above and right here because it helps to contour your nose because you can go up and down and makes your eye look bigger amazing um and then i think i'm gonna go with this gold color okay and add a little bit of that on the outer corner here so we have three types of like shimmers you can use one i'm just extra and i want things to like get darker as they get out so when you turn your eye you have all types of shapes like yes please um but yeah that is basically the entire eye look um i'm gonna quickly put mascara on and put lashes on and then i'll be back to do my base basically and the other eye so it's good hi guys i am now back so basically the shadow wing liner every time i try it i like it but it's just not my favorite i i don't understand the hype of it i think it looks stunning on some people but it just it wasn't like bold enough for me so what i did i did like a brown wing liner using my nyx epic ink liner in brown um i love it and it was very similar to the color that i was using anyway so i kind of just went over with it and put liner then i put these doll beauty lashes on and i lifted i did them properly and then the tail is not like on my lash line i lifted it up so it gives me that like cat eye lifted effect so do you like them these are the lashes alexandra from dolby these are like so fluffy they're insane i absolutely love them they're really good dupe for my 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 lash my my lashes is an american brand so if you want those my my lashes these are really good dupe for them and they're only 10 pounds not too bad but i want to do like a glowy gorge base like not too heavily bronzed just like you see what i mean so let's get into first of all priming so i think i'm gonna i've already moisturized i've moisturized with my beauty bath thirst trap moisturizer moisturized actually twice i moisturized once went out to asda came back moisturized again just now i'm gonna go in with the laura mercier uh pure canvas primer which is a hydrating primer i find that with christmas and just this weather i need more hydration more than anything so i'm gonna put a little bit of this on not too much I'm also going to try something out today uh, that I, I never do, but I've said it a few times in my videos to like me try it, but I haven't actually gone and done it. Primed. Next, I'm actually going to use a product I haven't yet tested, but I'm going to do like a duping video uh, to see if this is a dupe for my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. But my Flawless Filter is a little bit dark. I'm getting paler and paler and it's really showing up. So... I have a dupe for the flawless filter, okay, and it this one's lighter, so obviously it's gonna look a little bit different on the skin. Uh, it won't look as dark or as like shimmery as usual as the other one because that one's got like darker follicles in. But this is from XH Revolution. If you know XH Revolution, literally does some of my favourite brands. Does my favourite concealer, one of my favourite bronzers, the only bronzer I've ever hit pan on. They do so many good products, and I just love them. But basically, I saw this on TikTok. I can't remember who I saw it from. So it just ended up being on my TikTok. And people were saying that this was a really good dupe for the Flawless Filter. And this is only 15 or 14 pounds. I got it on sale for 10 pounds in the Black Friday. Uh, but this is the XX Revolution Skin Glow Tinted Skin Booster. So let's pop it on. It doesn't have as much of like a thing but to be honest i prefer the pump than the little stick that the flawless filter comes with i will do a video on like duping but it doesn't like when you bring it out it doesn't look like superly glowy it just looks like a weird type of moussey texture i haven't yet tested it all over my face but i'm gonna put quite a bit on this is the shade i think this was the lighter shade uh fever there's only like three or four shades but to be honest, with products like this, you'll see in a minute, it just blends in. And I'm gonna use my hands. Oh, it smells nice. What the hell? Oh, that feels so good. This doesn't feel as thick as the Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury, if you've ever had it, you'll realize it is so thick. Hold on a second, look at that. Oh, there's a lot more moisturizing than the Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm pretty sure if I got shade three in the Charlotte Tilbury one, these two would look very bloody similar. I think there's a little bit more coverage in the Charlotte Tilbury, but I'm not mad because this doesn't feel as thick. Like this genuinely feels like a tinted moisturizer, like it's moussey kind of feel, and then it kind of emulsifies and goes into the skin. I haven't tried this out yet, so of course I have to do a video. I will do a video of like me putting these side to side, but so far, look at the glow that it's caused. I put two and a half pumps on, so I put quite a bit on, but I like it. Hold on a second, I would wear this because this if you think the charlotte tilbury flawless filter is a bit too much for like the everyday this a bit of concealer a bit of cream product looks stunning i know some people use this as a, like a foundation but 
it's just too much. This is a, like it's a little bit less shimmery than this one. Okay, I like that. The glow, definitely a glow booster. She's stunning. Um, I really like that. I thought I'd test it out today and I was just like, it's been sat there for like a week and I really want to test it in a separate video but just never have the time for it. Um, but I would definitely do a separate video of me like comparing the both. But I definitely think it is a pretty good dupe. It's not as shimmery but it's a lovely glow booster and it felt so like moisturized it felt like a weird type of mousse on my face and then it kind of melted into like an oh, emollient i don't know how to explain it like it just emulsified onto my face i think it looks stunning that shade is really good for me as well so the shade fever pretty sure it's a lighter shade next thing you're gonna think becca do you really need any more glow but the foundation that i want to go in with basically i want to try something um so is my I love these products and I just want to see what they look like together. So we have the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation um, and then I'm going to do this. So you guys have seen me use this hundreds of times but I've told you that I want to mix it with my foundation once and see what it looks like. So I'm going to put two pumps of this on my hand. So quite a bit but I want my foundation to be really glowy because it's Christmas and let's not glow from without. Um, and then I'm going to put three pumps of this. So two to three basically. Give it a little jiggle. So now I'm making like, even though this is a like dewy foundation, I want it to be glowy. So like have a few shimmer particles in. So I want to see what this looks like. Ooh, it does. Okay. So I'm going to stimple my foundation on there. Pop it on with this Cash Beauty Kabuki brush. Love these brushes. Hmm. Okay. It didn't add like loads, but because it was already like a dewy foundation, it added a little bit more. And I like that. Honestly, I could probably put more and be really comfortable. But I just wanted some extra glow, to be honest. That glowy product really is showing through the foundation though. Like, look. I don't put a lot of foundation on my forehead. Because I find it's just too much. So now let's bring it down the neck. So the foundation I use, I use it in the lighter shade, which I'm pretty sure is fair or something like that. So if you are lighter than me, you definitely need a light mixer, which I always make sure that I have one. So I have my Elega ones. It's such a beautiful foundation. But like, look at the glow that I am producing right now. Love how that melt stuff can be used as like a foundation mixer. Love that. I'm going to be back when I get a beauty blender. I'm going to use this like semi starting to dry beauty blender just to kind of smooth over my skin. Excess products it will pick up. That actually looks really good. I really like how that looks. Okay. Flawless. I really like that. Everything is literally slowly starting to fall on my desk and I'm just like don't move but yeah that's always good um i think today i'm gonna use my uh anastasia beverly hills magic tuck concealer this is in the shade four i was watching soft does life's video the other day and she's got a very similar skin tone to me very similar like we wear a lot of the foundation shades very exactly the same um and she got this in the shade four and she had the same problem with me. She was like, I don't know what's like thing, but the shade's like a little bit off. And she made me realize that it's not the like how bright it is. It's the tone of it. Cause this is cool toned and I don't usually go for a cool tone concealer. Uh, so that's why I have like a hippie jibbie with this concealer. And so made me realize that. And I was like, oh my God, this concealer is expensive. It's good, it's expensive. Definitely wish they did like a shade this color but like more on the peachier tone instead of this tone because this will match some people but like for me it's like a good concealer just i need something a little bit more pink so i'm gonna quickly go in with the xx revolution one cx this is extremely pink and you'll see i'm gonna pop this right in my inner corner i'm gonna leave that to sit but do you see the two tones next to each other how the top but look a lot more peach and the bottom looks a lot more olivey. That's the difference. But I'm gonna leave my concealer to set for a little bit and settling that into the skin is just gonna make your makeup last a bit. So I'll be back in like a minute or two. Uh, I'm literally just gonna let this sit. Bye. Okay, it's been a good few minutes. Um, Just been answering doors and stuff. Uh, just because this is a super creamy concealer, the reason why I leave it is that it goes a slight bit tacky and then it kind of adheres to my skin a little bit more. I find that if I just blend it away, like straight away, it creases in my under eyes. I just want it to be a little bit more tacky. But now it's got some tack to it. I can literally feel it like tack into the skin. I can now start to blend. Do you see how much better coverage? So now I'm gonna blend this bit out. Yeah, it's sticking a lot better. Thing is I haven't used this since a while ago. 
um, because I just wanted it to tack a bit more. And then I remembered, just leave it alone for a while. Honestly, some people like green contour whilst concealer is sitting. I can't do that. I don't know why I have to do my green contour afterwards. If it works for you, go for it. I'll just sit here for a few minutes on my phone. Let it be. Now the under eyes. Like, look how much better that looks. Now, I've given it some time to, like, sit into the skin. Uh, I much prefer the concealer when it's settled into the skin. Like, I like the concealer. I really liked it. Like, it was a good concealer, but whenever I used it and needed to blend it straight away, it would crease. And I just didn't understand straight it. And now, we just leave it alone. It's going so much better. Like, it looks ten times better. Look how flawless. Next, I want to use a product I haven't used in a while. It used to be a favourite, and it's, it is the number seven powder. And I want to use this on a powder puff uh, to see what it looks like. Because I know I love my collection one on a powder puff. I just love the powder puff look at the moment. Um, and I want to just kind of set my under eye in here. So I don't want to put too much on. But this is the number seven dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury press powder. Uh, and it's the, the perfect light pressed powder in fair. Make sure those creases are gone. Stamp it into the inner corner. I'm literally just using the tip of this. It means I can get a lot more control. I'll get right in the inner corner first and then I'll bring it out. Like, look at that. It hasn't creased. So that's the one thing I found with this concealer. It just kept creasing. Um, and you guys know I love a concealer that doesn't crease. But now it's just tacky. It's just tacked to my creases and hasn't settled into them. Look. Look at it. Love that. But the reason why I'm not going to use the entire powder half, powder the entire part of my under eye, is because when I go in creams and stuff, sometimes the powder and the cream can just not like each other. But I still love this powder. Like, I still absolutely adore it. I just don't pick it up anymore for some odd reason. Like, it sits in front of me and I'm just, like, a blind to the situation. I'm like, what the hell? But next I'm going in with the um, Primark Contour Stick in the shade Chai. Okay, this is a little bit dark, but I don't want to use the honey one because it's a slightly little bit off the tone that I want. But I'm going to use a tiny bit of this. Like tiny much less than i used to and see if it blends out nicely because this is very much very similar to the color i use in my Too faced concealer and i love that so i thought let's retry and use the chai so this is the primer uh ps my perfect color contour stick there is a hair on this part of my face and it's fucking doing my head blend it in you shall be fine <laughs> now using my Bay beauty brush but yeah, and let's start to try and blend this. Because this is a dewy foundation, I'm finding that maybe it will blend it nicer and more into the skin. Oh, okay, I can use that product again. Thing is, I like the undertone of the colour. It was just a little bit too dark, but I used to put so much of this on, like a lot. Um, but now, of course, I am not, and it looks so much better. Yeah, because I wanted to use it, and I was like, mm, do I use it? Do I risk it? Is it risque? It is, but it's fine. Now, blooming this side. Thing is, the Primark like contour sticks, they came out like blush ones. Oh my lord, would everyone freak. So Primark, if you're watching this, which you're not, uh, do that. Everyone would love you. You'd be rich and I'd be poor because I'd have to buy every shade. Thing is, it's such a creamy product. It just blends into skin so well. Like, okay, I actually obsessed. What the hell? Why haven't I been? When I tell you, it's been months like nearly a year of me not using this product because of the shade because it was just too dark but i loved the undertone i love how now i've tried it again and i've fallen back in love because i just love to use the products that i have uh recently it means that i just can't buy any more makeup for the next look when i tell you i can't buy makeup i'm being deadly serious um for the next like three four months maybe five six uh, not a penny will be spent on makeup because I'm having some serious situations, which is not fun. The thing is, I want my channel to be like raw, like straight up, not gonna lie to you situation. So yeah, uh, life ain't that great right now. Um, and that's all I have to say. Things are happening that I'm like, um, really? Are you sure that's not a scam? I want to contour my nose, but I know the only product I know I love for my nose contour for like cream is my Huda Beauty Tantor. You don't need to use this many different cream products, but I'm going to use this. I haven't used this in my channel in a while either. Like, what the hell, Becca? What are we doing? Aha, uh -huh. I'm going to get this really small brush and I'm going to like tap into the product like this much. Not a lot, okay? Scary. Very scary. It's been nearly a year of me having that. Love that. I got it for Christmas last year. And I'm gonna like tab it where I want it. I know this product like blends easy, which is why I like it for nose contour. Because recently I've just been rough contouring and I know that it's just not looking great and it's actually making my bridge look too chubby. And then blend it down. Yes, please. Now my nose literally looks like a little button. 
But this is the only product that genuinely, when I say it blends, this I could go in with literally the entire pot and I could blend it so it looked normal. Make sure you bring it up into an old nose bridge here. It's really going to imitate that pinched look. Then, and right on the end, and just kind of lift. I'm going to see if this nose shape matches me. Oh no, I did too big of a line there, but somewhat trying something, okay? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. Hope for the best. Always good. Uh, but yeah, the shade I have this in is a shade Fair, which is the lighter shade. So I always like to go with the lighter shade of some stuff. I'm going into my flat soon, which is great. Um, whilst I'm there, there's still going to be more work done, but I just need to... I need to, not like my own space, but I just need somewhere where I can do my filming and like have a little bit of a decompress. My skin literally looks flawless right now. What the hell? Uh, next is my favorite cream products. Uh, cream brush, blush. So I'm gonna go in with the Milk Cosmetics Sandy Cheek Cream Blush Lights. Um, and I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on. So with my blush brush, I'm literally just gonna a little bit tap it on. Don't want too much. We're going for that less is more look. Thing is, I prefer the less is more look, but sometimes I just get carried away. Like, ugh, the makeup brush takes hold of, okay? And we end up in a situation where I am heavily bronzed, heavily blushed, heavily highlighted, and I'm just like, yeah. But we want something that we can walk down the stairs at Christmas Day and feel beautiful. And that's what this product does. Um, I don't know if I want to blush my nose. I'll do it with powder. No cream, but this is genuinely my favorite cream product my favorite cream blush in the shade as well it's literally the only peach blush that i actually think is peach so many peach blushes that are like peach a pink and i'm just like there's not what i wanted oh i feel snatched next thing i want to do is get my little powder puff and my powder that i use for my under eyes and we're gonna really try this nose sculpting technique and see what happened i'm gonna load it up and make sure everywhere's got some foundation and stuff and i'm gonna sculpt Okay, now using this powder. So basically, I didn't set up here earlier. Now using this powder to bring back the brightness because obviously it's a tinted powder. Really just stamp it on there. And then right under the jaw. I will use a loose powder elsewhere. I'm just kind of using this light powder where I want light areas. Because Christmas day is the day to look snatched, okay? Good we've had that conversation. Right in the middle of the forehead. That always needs to be highlighted. Look at that. Bright where I want it powdered bright powdered the thing is i still love this powder like it's such a good powder i'm just like so scared that i ran out of this because you know how long it took me to find this and um, you guys when you find like a viral product you guys like take it up and you it just disappears and i'm just like what the hell happened like genuinely what happened next product when i first tested out i thought that this turned different color it doesn't um i don't know if i was using the bronzer in it because i used this again the other day and it was fine and i was like confusing but this is the she glam insta ready face and under eye powder i'm using the face bit and i'm gonna get a big fluffy brush and elsewhere where i haven't powdered I'm gonna grab a bit of this powder, tap off the excess obviously, and lightly tap over the places where I have like my cream products. Obviously there's cream products everywhere, but like my coloured cream product. And then just lightly tap so it's sort of set and it's gonna settle into the skin. I did tell you guys I was gonna sit here and try out this powder again. I'm happy I did because I was so sad. I was like, why have I done that? And then I realised it wasn't that. And I was like, okay, then it must have been something else. I think I've watched that video like three or four times trying to figure out what it was. Here we are. No. I'm gonna put a little bit here like under where i sculpted i didn't actually set down here i just sculpted a little bit up. and then we can brush away the sculpt a little bit not like brush away but like brush the x now dipping my brush in there and just lightly tapping over the top so it's not oily or anything okay i feel beauty then i'm gonna use this like top powder and what i'm gonna do get a little beauty bay brush grab it and just like brighten some areas i like to make sure i'm bright I just like that look. But yeah, that is what we're looking like powdered at the moment. Next is a setting spray. So the setting spray I'm going to use is... I sat here looking at my setting sprays. I'm like, you know, I'm missing one. And yes, I am. I am missing one. And I only have like a few setting sprays that I use. Um, and I'm going to go in with this one that has very little left. I'm going to be back when this is dry. But this is the XX Revolution Face Fix 
satin spray because it's just amazing okay it's a really good really good satin spray back face is dry and my camera is charged uh we have a situation of trying to keep my battery charged because things keep getting plugged um yeah stressful uh every time i go to get my camera battery it is dead isn't that fun uh so i'm gonna quickly bronze i think i want to use this if not i'll go in my kiko in fact do i want to use this i'm gonna go in my kiko so i'm gonna go in with my kiko unlimited unexpected paradise bronzer this is in o2 universal sienna and this is a beautiful bronzer i've had it in my drawers over there and i completely forgot the reason why it's over there and not in my kit is because it doesn't fit like the entire thing is huge like look at the size of my head and look at the size of this thing like i'm sorry it's like the lower half of my face scary uh but i love this bronzer i just keep forgetting to use it isn't that great but when all my makeup's in my new place in my new drawers i've got some huge when i tell you these drawers are huge drawers got some of them um and i've got two sets of them i think all my makeup will fit in one but i've brought two just in case like my collection expands but right now i could use it for like, other bits of storage but until then literally i have like so much storage space now that i can't like i can't be scared of like keeping makeup because a lot of the time i won't keep it because i can't store it um and yeah that's scary i'm still trying to find the same brush i've been trying to find for the pot five freaking minutes ah uh -huh. it's in the pot that i originally checked always good becca always good wiping off all the excess product that was on it before and this is the cash beauty k03 literally i love their face pack i like brushes like i love the little under eye one like it's so cute the reason why i reached for the other one more um it's because it's just right in front of me and this goes to the side of me some odd reason but with my new desk i have to order it in january because that's when it's coming in stock i'm getting the one that jordan lipscomb has in her uh, office and i fell in love with it in her office and do you know how long i was looking for oh sorry even though stupid me i messaged her about it stupid me think that someone's gonna actually answer me but i'm not sure if she'd seen other I think i'd like put on a story and she'd seen that but she didn't see the message that I was speaking about about the desk and I kept asking and I was like oh, like I need to know where this desk is and I just couldn't find it and the reason why I couldn't find it on Wayfair is because it was out of stock so obviously it wasn't coming up on the normal pages so then I started going on out of stock pages and then I've been on the waiting list for so long for that freaking thing I will get it okay I don't care if I deal with these drawers I'm using drawers at the desk right now I don't care if I deal with these drawers for six months more at the moment we're dealing with it but that desk it's coming home okay and it was only like it's only like 110 pounds for a desk yes please uh but yeah this is a lovely a buildable bronzer you can do this for years and add it on it's just so pretty and it's got like this mineralizing skin finish powder going through it it's just so stunning and i love it i just it's just been sitting in my drawers because i couldn't fit in my kit like my drawers are over there but they're like not in the drawers that are in front of me because the drawers that are in front of me are actually broken um i broke them when i was at my last flat when all the makeup was in the drawers you'll know what i'm talking about if you've watched my previous like makeup collection videos and it was in all the makeup was in here and because of how quick i used to pull the drawers out the balls on my like little running thing came flying out one day and they broke and so now the drawers are on the dining table literally just one there one there and then there's one still in here but it genuinely i'm just like oh so I'm dealing with broken drawers at the moment. So I can't really get access to the drawers without climbing because my stuff is literally all over the dining room. This I'm literally like how much product. Like it's such a foolproof product. Like when I tell you one bronzer you need. Thing is, if this wasn't so big, I would have hit pan on this. Like the dent is so wonky. Like look at it. This used to be so domed, and I just use it so much, and I used to use it all the time. But I just can't wait to get my drawer, my new ones. One's built, one's not. Uh, get my drawers, and as soon as I move in, I'm literally gonna have an entire day. I'm gonna film it. We're gonna organise my entire makeup collection and put it all into my drawers. You guys are gonna. Oh, there's so many organisation videos coming. Honestly, organise my kitchen. Uh, that's when it's done. Uh, for a while, it won't be done because I'm dealing with the old kitchen at the moment. Horrible. Um, it looks so... It's just a black and white kitchen and loads of the cupboards don't match nothing. I asked for a kitchen that had high cupboards so I didn't have to bend down to the low ones. I've got three cupboards on high and like 10 down below. They've like designed the kitchen so it's completely backwards and you couldn't use like, any of the walls. So I'm getting the entire thing ripped out and I've now sat down and designed where the fridge needs to go so then I can use the entire wall on the background to put like loads of cupboards and stuff so I can actually have a space to like chop things up, have a chopping board and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm having a new kitchen put in, hopefully. 
like real hopefully because I have to keep speaking to different people and stuff to get it done but oh it's earning a flat not only is it expensive it's so expensive like what so expensive. I didn't think at this age, obviously, I'd be doing this, but it is. And I'm in the situation. But it means that I can't do normal things that people my own age are doing. Um, and it's it's sad because so many people my own age like going on like massive shopping sprees and stuff. And I'm like, every penny of my earnings goes on bills. Every penny. And it makes me sad because obviously, like, yeah, I live there, but four walls is not gonna continuously make me happy. Like I'd love to be able to go out for food with people, enjoy, have experiences and stuff, but when every penny, because the flat I'm in right now is for two people. Um, it's a two person flat. Uh, not a one person flat which means I'm basically paying two people's bills it's just a lot like it's a lot it makes me just want to cry to be honest I love my flat I just don't understand why it's so expensive like I understand I live in London but like come on I had no other choice literally I had no other choice where I was looking I could only look where I originated from like I couldn't look anywhere else I'm obviously not going to say that now where but like I couldn't and it's just like, all right, great fun. <sighs> so even if I did have a choice of going somewhere cheaper, I didn't have that. So I kind of been fudged over by the system. Thanks. Uh, now I'm gonna blush my face. I was gonna go in my Latin Luminose though. And then I thought I've used it way too many times in my videos. So I'm gonna go in with the KVD Pony Blusher, Everlasting Blusher. It's a lovely like cool tone pink. I think it's really pretty. And we're just gonna blush. I don't want to bring it down too far either. Yesterday when I did my makeup, I thought, yeah, it looked pretty, but I was like, there's something about this I didn't like, and I brought the blush just way too low. I was just like, mm, keep it higher, Becca, keep it higher. Sometimes you can get carried away with makeup, and that's me for you. Oh, I forgot to powder contour my nose with the bronzer, so that's fun. I'm gonna use this like quite big fluffy brush, and I'm gonna use like the edge of it and the bronzer to slightly contour. Do you like that? Do you think that suits me? Honestly, it's probably like not much difference, but like there's a difference for me and I like it. Next is highlighter. I actually have another cream highlighter on the way, which may be a dupe for the Melt Cosmetics Sex for. So if you guys are fed up with me saying about this, then don't worry, I'll just change the product I'm continuously talking about. But this girl's literally ran a rave about it for so long and she was on live on TikTok the other day. I did my first TikTok purchase. Um, and she was like, I've literally got two minutes left here, but like I've got 20% off this entire like brand and stuff. I was like, Yes, please. Literally, the, the fastest check of my life, the only thing with TikTok thing, if you accidentally scroll down, it deletes ev all the work you've just done. I had to enter my address and everything five times. Five times. Under a rush and everything. I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, really? It stressed me out. It stressed me out so much. Okay, next, highlighter. Uh, I'm actually gonna use a powder highlight today. Uh, I think you guys are a little bit shocked. I don't want to, I want to use my sex for. And I know it's Christmas and I can use whatever I want. I just want to use my sex for, but this is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this. This is the Akiko Unexpected Paradise highlighter. So it's from the same range as my bronzer. This is actually one of my favorite powder highlighters. So that's why I'm gonna use it today, I just think. Am I still in love with it? Or am I just a cream highlighter type of gal now? Have I changed my life choices? Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. You'd never know. It's just such a pretty gold. And I'm going in with the Cash Beauty K05, which is the highlighter brush. And I got it and I'm just gonna kind of lightly dust it. I don't want too much. The thing is with the powder highlights, I know it's pretty and stuff, but I just feel like it sits on top of the skin. Like I want something that's gonna melt in. Like it's such a pretty highlighter. Yeah, she's definitely stunning but i feel like it's just not on there properly so i'm gonna set the spray do what i used to do when i used to do highlighter so get the sprayer and do one little spritz it's like wait for this like to settle for like a few seconds so whilst i'm doing that i load up my brush tap on top so it kind of melts into the skin a little bit more is that too much highlighter that's the thing like Highlighter, it looks so pretty, but also just doesn't look natural. <sighs> I think I genuinely am just a cream highlighter type of girl. Like, it looks stunning. I'm just like, yeah. Really like setting spray outside. Add load on this side. I'm mean, not put add anymore. I'm just like making a cream highlighter. This desk needs cleaning. My brushes need cleaning so bad. Load up my brush. I think this is such a beautiful highlighter. I'm just like, melt into the skin, please. Just like, melt. Look at this was like a cream highlighter, that would be stunning. Um, but yeah, 
just stunning, just pretty. I definitely do think I put a little bit too much on the cheek here. I'll just go in with blusher in a minute and go in over a bit. So tapping. Like it just, mm. <sighs> uh, do you know when you just turn into like a new person? Go back to your old antics and you're like, mm, not a fan. Yeah, not a fan. Settle into the skin more, please. I want a glowy, not powdery, like, please. Okay, next is highlighter on my nose. So highlighter on my nose, I actually do prefer powder. That's one thing, but that's always good. So going in with a brush and this highlighter. My nose looks cute. I'm gonna go in with a bit of the Milani Luminoso blusher, okay? The reason why, because it has a, like a glow to it and I'm gonna really go in and I'm gonna try and add it so it kind of melts the highlighter into my face a little bit more. Okay, I like that. Much better. Um, I think, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get a small brush. So I'm gonna get the Revolution Pro Skin Finner Powder. Mine's an opalescent, I think. And I'm just gonna pop this over it to add like a glow, but not a highlighter. Oh, 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 that did. That did something I liked. Okay, good idea. And then we can put this at the front. Put a bit on the forehead, on the chin. I forgot how much I love this product. Like, it's so good. The thing is, I used to love this product just because it created a glow and not a highlight. Um, and I used to actually use this as highlighter for so long because it just wasn't that overly pigmented. Like, it's just a glow. Like, it's just so pretty. Now do you see how I've, like, dyed that highlighter feel down? I'm happy about that. Next. So I'm feeling sculpted pretty quite like nose contour made it look cute little bunny thing is i usually go for that like bunny look but i feel like i was just using losing the look so far lips are deglossed i use this as like a lip balm all the time so what i've done i brought it the inner corner highlighters quite a bit like on the lower lash line and then i just had an idea this is gonna be such a long video to edit because i'm literally the longest person of life i'm gonna use a nude eyeliner and just kind of waterline Okay, like that. So that's a Beauty Bay Vanilla eyeliner, like the crayon one, just to put there. And then mascara, which is underneath all these brushes. So this is the eyes now. So do you see what I've done? It actually looks really goddamn pretty. I might actually wear this on my dog walk. I actually really like the eyes. Like they're so bright, but like lifted. This might be my go-to glam. She's pretty. I want to do a red lip first and then turn it into a nude lip because I want to go out with a nude lip. The red lip I'm going to do is the Beauty Bay Heart Lip Liner and then the Source Lipstick. So let's lip line. You look pink. That's pink. Um, didn't think that was. So I'm going to quickly change that to Wild Side from Morphe. Wild Side is like such a good, very good lip liner, but I just need to sharpen it. Okay, wild side lip liner. And now we go with the lipstick. I know this lipstick's a little bit dark, but I wish, I think it is gonna be a little bit darker for this lip liner, but I think it'll be fine. Wow, that's the world's wonkiest lip liner, but it's fine. I love a matte red lip, but I feel like I need a gloss. I don't have a red gloss, do I? Actually, I think I do. I have one red lip gloss. Okay, and when I say one, I literally just mean this one. Everything else is either clear, pink, nude, okay? But this is the Morphe one in Hot Shot. I haven't used this. Honestly, a year and a half, maybe? Let's have it on. Oh yeah, red lip gloss, that's it. So yeah, this is the Morphe lip gloss. Why haven't I used these lip glosses in ages? I've got a nude one. But when I tell these, you, these are smooth. They've got no stick to them at all, like, they kind of feel like an oil. What the hell? Um, yeah, this is the glam. Uh, this is like the Christmas glam. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna quickly go off camera, take some pictures uh, for Instagram with like this one. Cause this might be the thumbnail of red lip, but there will also be a nude lip. I like, I'll wipe it off and put a nude lip on. But red lipstick, yes please. Like which, you have to tell me down below. That's how I know you get to the end of today's video. Would you prefer a red lip or a nude lip with this look? You'll see a nude lip soon. What do you prefer? I think I am actually in love with this look. I feel so feline. Snatched, goddess, pretty. But yeah, 
Okay, so we've had some fun, take some pictures with the red lip. I'm obsessed. This lip gloss, literally so slippery, so gorge. Why haven't I used these? Honestly, I used these when I first started makeup. First started makeup. Like before I even started YouTube. And I started YouTube just over a year ago. Um, I first started makeup like two years ago. And these glosses, genuinely, what the heck, why? It's so good. But let's wipe this off of the back with bare lips and we can uh, put some nude lip on. Honestly, I kind of forgot how difficult it was to remove red lip liner and like do it smoothly because genuinely it kind of stains the lip around, which is great. Um, I think I want to use Morphe Sweet Tea. All right, I want to. Okay, so Morphe Sweet Tea, my lip too looks like this, but I want to put it on because I haven't actually used it in a while. You guys can't be mad about this one, but let's put it on. Okay, sweet tea applied. Now that's applied, I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise uh, lip base in Stark Naked, applying with my finger. You can definitely tell well, his sweet tea is definitely darker than P. Louise Achievements. P. Louise Achievements is like my all time favorite. This is my second. It used to be this until I found P. Louise Achievements. And I used to really like this base. like really like it and then I just kind of forgot about it um and I forgot I could use it I don't know if this suits the eye look more I'm just I don't know it's like it looks so pretty next I'm gonna like really lighten up the inner part so I'm gonna go in with the modern oh model zone lipstick in the shade Sahara Dune right in the middle see how much paler that one is it's such a creamy lipstick I don't know, I like to use the lip base as like a base to my lipstick because then once my lipstick wears off, it's got that base underneath and then it like lasts so much longer. The thing is, do I put a gloss on or do we keep it matte? It's Christmas, we're glossing. Okay, it is Christmas. And I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bay Gloss in Ballet. Such a beautiful light nude lips gloss and it smells so good. The only thing is, the diapers are so tiny, you don't get a lot of product on. yeah that is the nude glossy lip so which one's your favorite black or black the red one or the nude nude definitely feels good to me but yeah this is today's little makeup look hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial tuesday as always yeah usually i like introduce the video with the tutorial tuesday on but today i genuinely just felt like getting the intro done with me looking not so great but yeah i literally feel so good we're gonna go on a dog walk now so that's always good uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video of course just leave a like comment down below Co subscribe if you're not already and if you want to see some more glam content from me genuinely just message me down below uh what palettes you want me to use and stuff palettes that i have not new ones because they can't buy me Ugh, stressful uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah thank you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>